in the bedroom with another video. Today is Vlogmas Day 16. The girl is going to be doing um a video for the travel nurses. Woo, 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 woo. If you're a nurse, comment down below. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you, my friend, can be notified every time when I make a video. I just want to welcome back the returning subscribers. Hello. And I want to welcome the new subscribers. Hello. Welcome. My name is Swan and King. Hi. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to get right into it like I've been holding out on this video. First off, thank all the nurses and thank all the EMTs, paramedics, social workers. Like, y'all are greatly appreciated. Like, I know y'all been working y'all butt off on the front line. So, I just want to extend my warm thank you to you guys. And just thank you for being on the front line because I know a lot of people could not do it. I know it is crazy out there people not really taking this virus seriously so yeah thank you guys so 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 much okay i just wanted to say that before i got started I've been traveling i just wanted to come on here and share my traveling experience with y'all because some of y'all may have pointers that i can come off of and i may have pointers that you guys might need so i don't know about anybody else but Rule number one, make sure that you have the contract in your hand or via email or whatever. Make sure that it's stating the pay, the per diem. Like if you're getting paid like mileage there and back, like mileage at anywhere. You get what I'm saying? Make sure it's written in a contract. Make sure you know how much you're getting per mile because you don't want to get gypped because honey, Make sure you have a great recruiter on your side because you're going to need one. Make sure that you um, continue out the whole contract. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into my experience as a travel nurse. This wasn't like a typical travel nurse assignment. This one was more for like, um, how can you say it? Basically, it's like I was working offshore, working hand in hand with offshore companies which I was, um, I'm not going to say the name of the company for the sake of this video, but <laughs> I was like working with like an offshore company. It was exciting. It was exciting. I can't say that. Like I am ready to go back. I don't know. I am ready to go back. Um, for this typical assignment, the assignment lasted like two weeks. So it's like basically a job where it's not permanent. But it's permanent, if that makes sense. Like, since COVID and stuff hit, like, it's not permanent, but it's permanent. You get, you get what I'm saying? It's, you get the gym. It was, like, two weeks on, two weeks off. Like, the pay was absolutely freaking phenomenal, y'all. The pay was great. To the specifics, you know, of how much I was really making. How money out here to be made. If you're thinking about going to nursing school, girl, go ahead. Or, um, boy, go ahead and nothing hold you back because I know a lot of people that I've went to school with personally has went back. They transitioned to be RNs. I'm so proud of y'all. Congratulations on the graduation. Woo! Congratulations, y'all. When you're going out on the travel assignment, make sure that they're paying for housing. Um, make sure it's not coming out your check. You do not want any housing coming out your check. They're supposed to put you up, okay? Baby, honey, I wasn't paying for housing. I wasn't paying for anything. That was paying for my uh, mileage, like, back and forth. Like, if I was to go to a restaurant, boo, that's miles because I need to eat, okay? They're paying miles for that. They're paying miles for, like, um, going back and forth to work. Like, boo, you can't go wrong with it. And then, like... It wasn't just that, like, it was just right down the road. You get what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like I had to go far off to make this kind of money. Like, there's money to be made around here in this local area. Just find your local areas and try to find you a great recruiter. You know what? I'm just going ahead and be real. This was this job was really sent from God because 
I haven't found a job that can top it yet. Like I just, I'm just being honest. Without me having to travel and put all them doggone miles in my car, like baby, lovely parents and I had my lovely boyfriend and stuff like supporting me throughout everything that was making sure that I was getting it done. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a support system for me. Okay. That you have everything in that contract. If that recruiter tells you, oh, is da da da, is this, is this, is this, we're not going off what you're saying, okay? We need to see that in a contract, okay? We need to see this in writing or print it off or something. We need to see this in our head, okay? Make sure you print it off or whatever because. Boo, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. And that's another thing with traveling. Like, you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. Like, you really don't. It's like you're going, like, kind of blindsided. It's like the recruiter will tell you something. And then it's like when you get there, it might be a little different than what the recruiter is saying. Because the recruiter is not out there. They're just recruiting the people to come to the job or to do the job. Okay, so make sure you have that contract. Make sure you have to pay on there per diem. You know, make sure they're paying your housing. Make sure it's not coming out your check because that's a no-no, okay? No, 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 no. You don't need to be taking anything out my check, okay? Um, I need everything in my hand, cash money. No. <laughs> Another thing, you have to make sure, Google the place that you're going to. You get what I'm saying? At least have some idea on where you're going. You know, if you tell your recruiter, oh, I want to go to Arkansas, you go to Arkansas. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, I have this place. No, 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 no. You want what you want. You got to be firm. You got to stand your ground. You want what you want. Don't just take anything. Because I've had some offers that was like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. Me? No, not taking it. Stay your ground. You got to know what you're worth because, baby, COVID is real out here. And to be getting short stopped, no. Okay? So, anyway, you got to stay your ground. Know where you're going. If you want to go somewhere, make sure you stay your ground. Okay? Make sure that you know all the contact information that you need to have. Okay? Make sure you're getting the training. That's number four, okay? Number three and four are going hand in hand. But make sure you have your uh, contact information just in case you need to call a doctor. You need to have a doctor name written down, okay? Because things can get real, real quick. So have that doctor's name written down where you can find it, okay? Have other people contact information just in case you need to call them, you know, the ones that train you. Have their con uh, contact information just in case you need to call them. Because, like I said, things can get real, real fast. Um, Like I said, make sure you have that proper training. Listen, with training, I know it's going to go super, super fast because they're throwing you out there. Some people don't even get trained. You get what I'm saying? So, with training, I know you got to catch on real, real fast. But, at the end of the day, I feel like, well, depending on the facility... Or depending on where you're at, you might have some good people that's training you. You might have some good people that's training you. So it's like, you really don't know. That makes sense. The downside of traveling, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's very rewarding. Personally, when I went out there and I traveled or whatever, they put me up in a hotel. It did not come out my check. Make sure they put you up in a nice hotel, okay? Because you don't want to be staying in no run-down, raggedy apartment. Or you, you need to stay in something nice. Because you working all these long hours. And you don't need to be laying your head where uh, something is crawling, okay? No, we're not having that. But for the most part, I think uh, recruiters put you up in nice places and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there because I feel like it happened to some people, okay? When you're calling a doctor, which I know some of you guys may know this already, I'm just giving some tips, okay? Um, when you're calling a doctor, make sure you're taking notes, okay, on um, what he's telling you. Make sure you 
reading off the orders or reading off everything that you need to tell him, you know, I mean, that's just, that's just nursing. Okay. That's just common sense, but I'm just letting you know, FYI, my experience with, um, with some of this is my recruiter actually told me that, um, I was getting paid this much per mile. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. But when it actually came back, it was like I was getting paid more the mile, if that makes sense. So I just want you guys to be careful, okay? Don't It don't matter what the recruiter tells you. Make sure you have it written down. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. Basically, it was the traveling part. I feel like if you ready to go out there and step up your game, then you can. Um... Like I said, I was with an offshore company, so things can be different. If you go through like prime time or other traveling agencies, like I don't know how they really operate. That's trying to recruit me to go out on a couple assignments. But my thing is, I don't want to be traveling like way up north to be getting the same amount that I'll be getting around my local area. You get what I'm saying? That's another thing. You got to do your homework. Do your homework when you're traveling. Like, if you're traveling alone, boo, you're going to need some protection. I mean, uh, I mean, if you believe in protection or not, but for me, you know, you're going to need some type of protection. Girl, get you some pepper spray. Girl, get you a Glock. Girl, get something, okay, because it's crazy out here. Be careful because they have sex traffickers out here, y'all. Listen, get you a little firearm permit if you have one. Just be careful, okay? Traveling, just say if they um want to send you out on a plane because they do do that. Or some agencies reimburse you uh, your money, you know? Um, So you just got to know how much they're going to reimburse you or if it's worth driving your vehicle versus um getting other transportation because i know when you get there i know with some agencies when you get there and people want to rent a car like that is coming out your paycheck whether you know it or not that's coming out your paycheck and all the other stuff that you're doing is coming out your paycheck so by the time you finish paying for that rental car baby you're gonna be upside down you could have just stayed home locally and probably good could have got paid more than that for driving i'm just saying these recruiters be telling you like the blended rate and when i say the blended rate that's meaning like with the overtime our reimbursement like all that's all that is included in the blended rate so we don't want the blended rate we want what we're getting paid an hour make sure you remember that because some of these recruiters be like oh you're making fifty dollars an hour you get what I'm saying? You making sure that you getting paid. <laughs> I look so stupid. Make sure that you know what you're making an hour. That's all I can say. I think you got it. How many times I said it? You should have it. You got to think about the taxes, y'all. When you going out and traveling, they telling you, oh, you're going to make this, you're going to make that. But that's with or without the taxes. So make sure that you ask your recruiter. It's written down in that contract. You don't want to get lowballed. So fix that. Fix out the kinks before you actually get in the kink. You get what I'm saying? So be proactive. Do your homework. Don't be lazy. Because when you get lazy, then that's when things start. Mm. So be proactive. I think that's basically it for uh, what I really have to say so far as my experience and for more traveling opportunities besides the nursing i really have picked up another um job so i'm excited for this it's always good to have multiple streams of income so i'm just excited to just travel you know rona out here i uh, i can't hear you rona i can't hear you Rona ain't stopping nothing, okay? Rona is not stopping anything. So get to the bag, sis. Get to the bag. 
be careful. Make sure you have all your PPE. Honey, if they don't have PPE, you leave. You leave. Make sure that they have PPE, y'all. And it's kind of so hard to just, uh, it's kind of hard to know if that facility, because I know a lot of facilities are reusing PPE and stuff like that because the supplies are limited and uh, 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 you know, and it's just so, kind of so hard. So to be honest, let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you what I did from experience. I brought my own personal PPE, okay? I'm talking about gloves. They had gloves, don't get me wrong. But I look, I got my back up in a car because I'm not going out there unprotected, okay? Baby, N95, that big old respirator. I wasn't playing. I was not playing. Face shield, make sure you have your face shield. I'm telling you, it get real out here real fast. So without further ado, that's probably going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you, my friend, my traveling buddy, be notified every time when I make a video. Your girl is out.